Hi there! It's Gabby here and welcome to Rated Art Inspirations, where you can get all your inspirations right here. In today's class, we're going to teach you how to paint Among Us. It's been trending for months and I think it's a design that we should all probably learn. In this design, it is a little bit longer than our other videos, um, just because we are painting three characters versus one. And the big reason behind that is just to show you different colors, different shading, to for you to decide which one you like the most. So you don't have to paint all three of them in real life if you don't want to, but if you do, it looks fantastic. While painting this design, it will be shown on the face, it'll be showing close up on the arm and on the practice board. Just because it is a little bit more detailed than some other designs, I think having different ways to see it might be a little bit more helpful. Before we even get started, do not forget to subscribe so that you never miss any videos that we post every single week about base paint. We are gonna go from this to this. Let's get started. These are the supplies we're going to be using today for the Among Us design. So first we're going to add just a few dots to help with the center of placing the first character. That step is completely optional. Now we're going to first draw the eye for the Among Us with a small filbert shaper loaded with a soft shade of blue or gray. So you're going to add that first to the center. Then with a number two or number three round brush loaded in red to start adding your shape of the first character Among Us. And it's just a nice round looking thing with some legs and a small backpack pretty easy. Also, don't forget to outline the eye part area because it'll be easier to paint in the middle later on. So actually apply it to the face. Make sure to take your time because it might be a little bit difficult the first time, but once you got it down, you know what you're doing. Then load up a small filbert shaper with your red split cake to fill it all in. I find it easier to use a, um, a filbert shaper versus just a regular round brush just because you get more surface area covered. That step is optional if you want to use a different brush but I like this one okay so do it on the face looks really good now with a number two or number three brush loaded with the darkest shade of red on your red split cake begin to start with the shading of your among us and you're gonna do just the outlining first if that makes sense so you're gonna have an idea of where you want to shade it before you actually shade it Here's how it is, and then begin to fill it in. And as you can see, it's just a darker shade of red. It's not black, it's not some obscure color. It is just a darker shade of the color that you're already using. And then also outline the outside of the eye or like the glasses area, and then do it on the face for real. Once you have that done, load with black and also with red. So you're getting a very, very dark shade of red or almost a maroon color to do the outlining for your design. You can use black if you like, but it might be a little bit too harsh. So learning to mix it with the color that you are using as your base might be a helpful tip just to make it look a little bit softer in when you are painting it. And it looks really good. It looks like straight out of the video game. So there you have it, you have that step. And then with a small angle brush loaded with a green and blue split cake, just go from the bottom of the Among Us to the corner of the eye. All right, so you have that part down. Now we're gonna show you the other Among Us just on the arm on how to do the shading. So with the orange one, you have your light shade of orange, and then you're going to do a darker shade of orange for your shading. As you can see, again, you are doing the outlining first of how it looks, and then going in deeper with a lightly, slightly lighter shade of orange to go in with it. I would recommend doing shading for these designs, otherwise they might look a little flat. So this way you're giving it more depth and making it look a little bit more realistic and helping you look a little more professional. Then again, with the same orange technique, you're still using the color orange to do the harsh outlining. It's not black, it's not red. You are still using the base color, just a darker shade of it. And you can mix it either with black or with red or with any darker shade that looks good. Lastly, you can highlight your design, um, not the whole thing, but bits and pieces here and there. Make sure to be strategic with your highlighting. And then you can also actually highlight the whole design, which I will show you a little bit later. 
Those are the supplies we used for the orange one. And now we're gonna jump into the purple Among Us. And these are the supplies you're gonna use. So you have your base for your Among Us. You did the eye and everything. Once again, you're gonna go in with a darker shade of purple to start placing your shadowing. You can mix the light purple and the dark purple to get that perfect shade that still isn't exactly the color that you just used, but somewhat similar. Again, you want to go with that depth to make it look more realistic. And then outline the rest of your design. Take your time, make sure to know exactly where you want to place the lines to make it look awesome. And for the inside of the goggles or the eyes, you can also add a darker shade of blue or a more of a shimmer blue to also give in that shading. Then add the highlight, just how it is here. It looks really awesome. There's also an outlining of the highlight as well, okay? So there it is on the face. I'm not gonna bore you actually showing you on the face because that would, that would be lame. All right, so as you can see, you have all the highlighting. You can add a, a white um, aura around it as well if you like. I think it makes it pop makes it more cartoonish and um, it's also a lot of fun but something that you want to do only when you have the time but it is pretty fast if you wanted to do it on the job as well lastly we are adding up some stencils do some nice box stencils to add to the top of your base of your among us but also using some gradient stencil as well to add directly onto the rainbow part one on the top and one on the bottom. That step is optional. You don't have to add those stencils there. But the next stencil that we're using are stars. And I love this one. I think it really, really makes it pop. I definitely recommend using this stencil out of all the other ones um, because it does look more like a video game. So there you go. The last step is adding your glitter. The glitter is awesome. This is vivid glitter. This is uh, called Lava Pool. And just adding it to those little parts that don't have the stencil. The great thing about this glitter is that you can apply it directly onto paint and it doesn't smudge. That's why I love it and I use it for almost all of my designs. There you have it. That is the finished look. It's pretty easy once you know how to do it. It won't take you that long and it looks really fantastic. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and stay tuned because we're going to show you on the practice board.
thank you for stopping by to watch this very cool tutorial. We also have a step-by-step -step on our Instagram at Radiant Art Inspirations, and we now have a TikTok telling really funny and weird stories about face painting. So if you have any stories that are like bizarre or even funny, please share them with me. I want to hear them. I want to know that I'm not alone with these wild stories because when you're a face painter, there are so many things that other face painters won't tell you that you kind of just figure out on the job. Um, and let me just tell you in advance, if you're not a face painter, people are wild and they're also unpredictable. So uh, you will have some very funny stories to probably tell your friends and your kids as the years progress with face painting. Yeah. See you guys next week. Bye-bye.